a look at what's happening all around the majors today games on hold due to Hurricane Harvey, the Rangers and Astros plans to wait in Dallas for a decision from Major League Baseball about the status of their series scheduled to begin Tuesday night in Houston. The teams didn't travel there after game Sunday in California because of torrential flood waters that have engulfed the city in the wake of the storm. I think everything is up in the air, Astros manager A.J. Hinch said. MLB spokesman Michael Teven said officials are communicating with the teams and monitoring the situation. Baseball is secondary right now, Hinch said. Our schedule, our flight times, where we're going to be, the buses, like all that stuff is meaningless compared to what everybody is suffering through. Some have suggested the series could be moved to the Rangers' home park in Arlington, Texas. The Astros said they would provide an update Monday. Power vs. Power the surprising Marlins are making a run at an NL wild card berth, and they've got a matchup worthy of a playoff race. John Carlo Stanton against Max Scherzer. Miami opens a three game series at Washington with Scherzer, 12 5, 2.25 era, scheduled to start for the NL East leaders. The two time Cy Young Award winner has been sidelined by neck inflammation and last pitched August 13. Stanton hit his 50th home run Sunday and became the first National Leaguer in a decade to reach the mark. Scherzer took a no hitter into the eighth inning against the Marlins on June 21 but then allowed two unearned runs and lost 2 to 1. We beat him before, Stanton said. He's a workhorse out there, but we've got to stick to our plan. Pair of a a big week for the Yankees at home begins with a marquee matchup between all-star pitchers Juan Luis Severino, 11-5, 3.10 era, faces Cleveland ace Cora Kluber, 12-4, 2.65. New York plays three games against the Indians and then four versus Boston, both division leaders in the American League. Gary Sanchez and the Yankees are two and a half games behind the Red Sox but lead the wild card chase. Cleveland just outscored Kansas City 20-0 during a three-game sweep and hasn't given up a run in 28 innings. Get his plaque ready rookie slugger Reese Hoskins will try to homer for a sixth straight game when the Phillies host the Braves. Hoskins has 11 home runs over 64 at-bats in his first 18 games, making him the fastest player in Major League history to reach that mark. Three of those long balls came while last place Philadelphia took two of three from the World Series champion Cubs over the weekend, and Chicago manager Joe Madden predicted Hoskins would be going to the Hall of Fame next week after he started a triple play with a diving catch in left field. Heart of a Tiger the Tigers are hoping for good news on Victor Martinez. The 38 year old designated hitter went on the 10 day disabled list Sunday because of an irregular heartbeat. The second time he's landed on the DL this season for the condition. Detroit manager Brad Ausmus said Martinez spent Saturday night in a hospital and his heartbeat was regulated. Martinez was expected to be released and travel by car to Detroit, where doctors will try to determine the cause. You don't mess around with the heart, Ausmus said. This is something you take very serious.